Hi, so what I'm gonna teach you now is some quick mental math, no? So we'll try to solve problems in our mind without using calculators. So we have here our examples in the board, so clearly we are going to we are going to multiply two digit numbers by eleven. So there's a quick trick on multiplying digits by eleven. So fifty three times eleven, first step is you will copy the two digit numbers and put a space in between. So we have 5 and 3, right? Then, the next step, you will add 5 and 3. So that is 8. And just put it in the middle. The answer is 5, 8, 3. Easy, right? No. So, next is 45 times 11. So, write 4, put a space in between, write 5. Add 4 and 5, that is 9. So the answer is 45 times 11 is equal to 495. So you can check with your calculators if what we're showing here is the correct answers. So next example, on to our next. So we have 62 times 11, so we'll write 6, put a space in between, write 2, add them both. We have 6 plus 2, so 8. So put 8 in between. Very easy, right? So next is 94 times 11. So, we have 9 and 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. Now, we cannot put directly 13 here in the middle, no. So, what we're gonna do, so this is 9 plus 4, this is 13, right? So, we will put 3 in the middle and we will carry 1 here. So, 1 plus 9, this will become 10. Okay? So, that is 1,000. 34. So next we have 67 times 11. So we have 6 and we have 7. 6 plus 7, so the same, we have 13, right? So this is 3. Carry the 1 here, so this will become 7, 3, 7. Very easy, right? So the first step again is write the digits, put a space in between, add the digits, put the sum in between. The result is two digit number, you carry the first digit to the first number. Okay? Thank you. So next I'm gonna teach you is how to multiply two digit numbers that ends with five. So that two digit number should end with five. So the two numbers should end with five. Okay. So we have here 25 times 65. So what would be the first step? So the first step would be we will copy. 25. So we'll just put 25 here. Right? So the next step would be we will multiply this one. So we have 2 times 6, this is 12. Then add them. So we have 2 plus 6, this is 8. And divide by 2. So that is 4. So add them. So we have 12 plus 4, that is 16. Okay? Very easy, right? So again, we will move to our next example. So we have 45 times 85. So first step, put 25. Next step, so we will multiply 4 by 8. So we have 32. And we will add them. So we have 12. So half of 12 is two, uh, 6. So we have 32 plus 6. This is 38. So the more you get acquainted with this, you can do it in your mind. So the key to mastery is repetition, diba? Right? So... You will practice this a lot, so after solving 5 to 10 examples, you will get the hang of it, so you can do it in your mind already. So Next, we have 15 times 55. So first step, copy 25, so put 25. Next step is 1 times 5, so this is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. Divide by 2, that is 3. To add them, we have 8 to 5. So you can check with your calculators. If what we're showing here is correct. So next we have 25 times 75. So put 25 again. 2 times 7 we have 14. Then 2 plus 7 we have 9. So 9 over 2 we have 4.5. So if we add them we have 18.5. So what we're going to do with the 0.5 is we will put it on top of 2. So the point 0.5, so disregard the point. So we will put the uh, 
the 0.5 on top of 2. So, this will become now 1875. So, this is the answer. So, next example, we have 35 times 45. So, 3 times 4, this is 12. 3 plus 4, 7. Half of it is 3.5. So, you add them, you have, this is 25. 15.5 right so the 0.5 on top of 2 so we have 1575 very easy right quick and easy the monthly kitchenomics <laughs> thank you so the next uh, the next topic I'm gonna teach you is squaring numbers that ends with 5 so you can do this Using the first method I taught you in multiplying numbers, two numbers that ends with five, right? So, but there's an easier trick on squaring numbers that ends with five. So we have 15 squared. So you know what's 15 squared already? That is two two five. Next we have 35 squared. So how do how how uh, how will we solve 35 squared? So we have 25. So copy 25. So, the first step is, copy 25, then the next step would be, multiply the first digit uh, to its next number. So, we have 3, the next number is 4, so 3 times 4 is 12. Let's put 12 there, part of 25, okay? So, we have 25 squared, so we will copy 25. So, the next na the next digit to 2 is 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, 6 to 5. Okay, again, you can check with your calculators if what we're showing here is correct so we have 55 squared for the next example so first step 25 then the next digit to 5 is 6 so 5 times 6 is 30 so we have 30 25 so the next uh, example is 75 squared so we have 25 then the next digit to 7 is 8 7 times 8 is 56 so we have 5 6 2 5 so very easy okay thank you so hi the last I'm gonna teach you is squaring two digit numbers the easy way so we're gonna use first uh, two digit numbers that are greater than 10 less than 20 so we will start first with the basics so you will get the whole concept of it so I'm now gonna, I will introduce you to a term. So we have here the base. So this will be our reference. We have 10, powers of 10, 100, 1000, so on and so forth. So what will be the function of the base? So the base is the number it will be closest to. So of course, from the bases, the numbers here are very close to 10. So first step would be to subtract the base from the number so we have 13 minus 10 so this is 3 next step is to add the numbers so we have 13 the number plus the difference of the number and the base we have 16 then square the difference we have 0 9 so the square of 13 is 1 6 9 very easy right so next example we have 14 squared so 14 minus the base, we have 4. 14 plus 4, we have 18. 4 squared, we have 16. So, we will add this one. We have 196. So, this is 196. So, 8 plus 1. Next example, we have 17 squared. 17 minus 10, we have 7. So, next step would be 17 plus 7, we have 24. 7 squared would be 49. So this will become 2, 4 plus 4, 8, 9. Next example, 18 squared. So we have 18 minus 10, this is 8. So we have 18 plus 8, this is 26. 8 squared, we have 64. So this is 4, 6 plus 6, 2. Carry the 1 here, 12, I mean 12, carry the 1, so we have 3, 2, 4. So last is 19 squared, so 
19 minus 10, we have 9. 19 plus 9, we have 28. 9 squared, we have 81. So, the sum is uh, 1, 8 plus 8, 16, carry 1. So, we have 3, 6, 1. So, very, very easy, right? Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new again this time. Thanks.